Welcome to uh, our deep dive today. We are diving into the world of DTF printing. DTF printing. Yeah, it seems like it's everywhere these days you see it. It is. All right. over the place. Yeah. And we thought we'd do a deep dive into it and see what it's all about. Absolutely. So whether you're a total newbie to DTF mm -hmm. or you're maybe a seasoned pro using it every day, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to try to cover all the bases and... and really go deep on this one yeah you know i think a lot of people hear dtf and they just think t-shirts yeah but it's so much more than that it is so we'll really try to uncover some of those other uses i mean i'm already just thinking about all the possibilities <laughs> i'm excited to get into it me too so to kick things off sure and you just for anyone who's listening who's like what is dtf yeah could you give us a quick kind of elevator pitch definition of what we're talking about here so dtf stands for direct film ah okay and basically what you're doing is you are printing a design onto a special film using water-based inks. Then you apply an adhesive powder to that wet ink, and then you heat press it onto fabric. So it's a little bit different than other printing methods, but it's got a lot of advantages. It's, like, it's almost like a transfer in a way. It is like a transfer, but the cool thing is you can get really detailed, okay. high quality prints, okay. and it's very versatile. I was going to say, because I know transfers, like, you know, iron-on transfers right. tend to, they crack and they don't last that long. This is much more durable. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. So it's like a super high quality transfer, you're saying? You could think of it that way. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's cool. Yeah, it's essentially a high quality, customizable sticker that you're melting into the fabric. Wow, okay. Yeah. I like that description, that's great. Mm -hmm. So that's what DTF is, but how did we get here? Mm -hmm. How did this technology even come about? Well, like a lot of printing technologies, it's sort of evolution, Yeah. you know? So it's building on advancements that came before. And really, the roots of DTF can be traced back to the early 2000s. Okay. When you started to see these big advancements in digital printing technology. Yeah, digital printing completely revolutionized. Exactly. Like everything. It really did. Yeah. And so garment printing was no exception. You started to move away from these traditional screen printing setups, which were, right. you know, kind of bulky and, yeah. and cumbersome and you could really only do large batches and right. you started to see these digital printers that could achieve much more precise uh -huh. and intricate designs. It's kind of like the desktop publishing revolution. Yeah, exactly. Where, you know, suddenly you didn't need a yeah. giant printing press. Yeah. You could do it on your desktop computer. Right. And so anybody could become a designer. Yeah. And anybody could start a business. It really was democratizing Absolutely. in so many ways. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of the foundation then of where DTS came from. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So DTF emerged out of this desire to take that digital precision and apply it to a wider range of materials. Okay. And also to achieve a really durable, almost vintage feel. So it's not just about the digital part, it's also about like the tactile feel. Exactly. Right. Yeah. You know, a lot of brands these days are going for that vintage look and DTF is a great way to get that. So that's fascinating how it sort of came out of this need for something right that could meet this kind of growing demand for that specific look exactly and so you had this technology maturing at the same time that consumers were starting to demand more personalized products mm -hmm. and then you add in the e-commerce boom right where anybody can set up shop online yeah and suddenly dtf just fits perfectly into that model that's, yeah it allows small businesses even individuals yeah. to compete with the big players it's that democratization again absolutely it's pretty amazing yeah it's a really exciting technology so we've talked about you know kind of that high level overview of what dtf is and sort of how it came about and what drove its popularity right but I think for me, and probably for a lot of our listeners, sure. I'm really curious to dive into like the nitty gritty of how it actually works. Let's do it. So what are the steps involved oh, so in this DTF printing process? So the DTF printing process, it can seem a little intimidating at first, yeah. but it's actually more straightforward than you might think. I hope so, because I'm already thinking about all the things I want to print. I love it. You know? That's the spirit. Yeah. So walk us through it. What's step one? Okay, so step one is you start with your design. Makes sense. Just like any other printing method, you need a design. Yeah. You need some software. But the beauty of DTF is it can handle really detailed designs. Okay. So you can get really creative. So you're saying like, even if I have something that's very intricate. Yes. With a lot of fine lines and detail. It can handle it. It can handle it. Okay. That's great. Yeah. So that's step one. You've got your design. Mm -hmm. And then what 
So then you need to think about what color fabric you're going to be printing on. Okay. Because if you are printing on dark fabrics, yeah. you're going to need a white underbase. Okay, why is that? Because that white underbase is going to make the colors really pop. Uh huh. It's like priming a canvas. Got it. You know, you need that white background to make the colors really stand out. So it's like laying down a foundation yeah. for the colors to really shine on. Exactly. Okay, so that's important to remember. If you're printing on something dark, it's crucial. You've got to have that white underbase. Yes. Okay. So once you've got your design ready and you've considered the color of your fabric, Mm -hmm. then you're going to send that design to your DPF printer. Okay. And it's going to print onto a special PT film. So it's not printing directly onto the fabric. Oh, okay. This film is like a carrier for your design. Okay. You can think of it like temporary tattoo paper. Okay. It's just holding the design until it's ready to be transferred. I got it. It's right. Okay, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So we print on this film. Yes. And then what happens? So then we move on to another really important step, which is applying the adhesive powder. Uh, this is the magic. This is the magic. Powder. I was waiting for this. I know, right? Yeah. So this powder is what allows the ink to bond with the fabric okay. when heat is applied. Got it. So you need to apply the powder evenly while the ink is still wet. While the ink is still wet. Yes. Okay. And there are different ways to do this. You can use a shaker, yeah. you can use a powder applicator. There are different tools out there. Okay. But the important thing is to get an even coating. Even coating. Yes. Got it. So once you've applied the powder, mm -hmm. then you're going to cure it. Cure it. Yes. Okay. So this usually involves a heat press or a specialized oven. Okay. And basically what's happening is the heat is melting the powder uh -huh. and fusing it with the ink. Wow. And this creates a smooth, slightly raised texture, kind of like an orange peel. Like an orange peel? Yes. Interesting, okay. Yeah, so that orange peel texture is actually a good indicator that the powder has melted uh -huh. and bonded correctly. Sorry. So if you see that orange peel. So it's like a visual cue that you're on the right track. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've cured it. Yep. We've got this orange peel texture. We're ready for the main event. Now what? Now it's time for the heat press transfer. Okay, this is where the magic happens. This is the magic. This is where we take it from the film and put it onto the actual... Onto the fabric yes. garment. Okay. So before you do that, you need to prep your garment. Okay, how do we do that? So you want to give it a quick press, with the heat press. Just to like warm it up? Yeah, just to warm it up, get rid of any wrinkles, Plenty. any moisture. Okay. Just to create a nice smooth surface for the transfer. Yeah. So it's like ironing out the canvas yeah, okay. before you paint. So. All right, so garment's prepped. Garment's prepped, we're ready to go. You carefully position your film onto the fabric. Okay. Make sure it's exactly where you want it. Right. And then you lower the heat press. Oh, this is the exciting part. And I know, it's so satisfying. Yeah. You hear that hiss. Yeah. And the heat and pressure do their thing. So the heat and the pressure would actually transfer the image exactly. from the film to the garment. Yeah. Okay. And we use a technique called hot peel. Hot peel. Which means you peel the film away while it's still hot. Okay, that sounds nerve wracking. I know, but it's actually really cool Rugged. to see the design. So you peel it off and it's like, boom, there it is. Yeah, exactly. Right. Really and then for the final touch, okay. you give the garment one last press uh -huh. just to really seal that design into the fabric. So that it's super durable? Exactly. Okay. This ensures that it's going to last a long time. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it's... Yeah. It's simpler than I thought. It is. It's really cool how it all comes together. Yeah, it's a blend of art and science. Yeah. But with the right equipment and a little practice, anybody can do it. Okay, so that's like the basic breakdown. Yeah, this is the basic process. This is the ETF process. Yeah. And we've yeah. covered kind of like what it is yeah. and why it's become so popular. Right. But what I'm really curious about is where is it going? Mm. Like where is DTF headed in the future? That's a great question. I mean, I can only imagine. It's a really exciting time for DTF technology. Yeah. Because we're just scratching the surface of what it can do. Okay. So in the next five years, I yeah. think we're going to see some major advancements. Give me a sneak peek. What's coming? Well, one of the biggest areas of innovation is in ink technology. Okay. So right now we're seeing the emergence of eco-friendly inks. Ah, uh, interesting. And adhesives. So DTF is going green. DTF is going green. I love that. Yeah. That's fantastic. So these inks are just as vibrant and durable okay. as the traditional inks, but they have a much smaller environmental footprint. 
Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so that's one big trend. Mm -hmm. Eco-friendly inks. What else? What else is coming? Well, remember that crucial white ink layer? Yes, we talked about? foundation. The foundation. Yep. So get ready for some serious advancements in white ink technology. Uh, We're talking about inks that are even more opaque. Okay. Brighter. What? Oh, uh, smoother. So even better than they are now. Even better. Uh, and this is going to open up a whole new level of detail and vibrancy, uh, especially on dark fabrics. So you're saying like even those super intricate designs yeah. on like a black t-shirt. Exactly. It's just going to be. It's going to pop. It's going to pop yeah. even more. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's huge. It's a game changer for designers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. And it's not just about aesthetics either. Oh, really? Researchers are developing DTF inks. That can bond with unique materials. What kind of materials are we talking about here? So we're talking like wood, oh, well. ceramics, even metal. Hold on. DTF printing on metal. DTF printing on metal. That blows my mind. Yeah. The what? possibilities are endless. Think about it. You could have like custom designed phone cases. Exactly. Personalized jewelry, mm -hmm. even industrial applications. Yep where you need that durable, high-resolution printing yeah, on I, metal. Yeah. That's incredible. It's huge. Okay, so we've got eco-friendly inks. We've got new white inks mm -hmm. that are going to be even better. Yep. We've got inks that can print on all kinds of crazy surfaces. Yeah. What else is there? Well, I think another big trend that we're going to see is just increased accessibility. Okay. So DTF printers are becoming more affordable. Oh, that's great. And the learning curve isn't as steep. Okay, so it's becoming more user-friendly. More user-friendly. So it's really opening up to a wider range of people. So it's not just for like big companies anymore. It's Anybody it's, can get into this. Pretty much, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's really cool. It is. But all this innovation mm -hmm. and all these new capabilities. Yeah. I mean, it must come with a pretty hefty price tag, right? Well, that's the thing. While the technology is advancing, yeah. it's also becoming more affordable. Oh. So DTF printers are becoming more accessible. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. It is. You're getting this amazing technology. Yeah. But it's also becoming more affordable. More affordable for the average person. Exactly. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so we've talked about the technology. Mm -hmm. We've talked about where it's going. But what about the money? Oh, yeah, the money. That's what everybody wants to know. Right. How do you actually make money with DTF printers? Because it sounds great in theory. Yeah. But can you actually turn it into a profitable business? Absolutely. Okay. I'm all ears. Tell me more. So the potential for profitability with DTF printing is significant, okay. especially if you find a niche market. I was going to say, because I'm hearing a lot of niche and potential, Yeah. but I want to hear some concrete examples okay. of how people are actually making money okay. with this. So let's take, for example, a small business owner okay. who creates custom printed apparel mm -hmm. for local sports teams. Okay. So they could use DTF. Mm -hmm to produce high quality jerseys, hoodies, hats, right. with intricate logos, player names. So they don't need to have like a huge inventory. They, they can just, just print on demand. On demand. That's amazing. And they can do it all in house. Wow. They don't have to outsource it to a big printing company. So they're saving money. They're saving money. They're controlling the quality. Exactly. And they're able to offer, yeah. you know, a more personalized service. Exactly. That's amazing. So that's just one example. Okay, give me another one. I'm I'm loving this. Okay, so how about an artist or a designer mm -hmm. who creates limited edition prints yeah. on t-shirts, tote bags, even fine art canvases. Oh, wow. So they're using DTF uh -huh. to turn their digital designs yeah. into tangible products. I love that. Yeah. That's like the dream. It is. To take yeah. what you create digitally and make it real. Exactly. And, and then sell it. And then sell it. Yeah. So they can sell online. Mm -hmm. They can sell at craft fairs. Okay. There are all sorts of possibilities. That's awesome. Yeah. So we've got people making custom apparel. Mm -hmm. We've got artists and designers yeah. selling their work. And these are just a couple of examples. I know. I'm sure there are so many more. There are endless possibilities. So what you're saying is DTF printing. And DTF printing. It's not just a fact. It's here to stay. It's here to stay. It's the revolution in the making. I completely agree. Yeah. It's empowering creators, entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. businesses. They really take control of their production and their creativity. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. It's very cool. So what advice would you give to someone listening to this? Sure. Who's maybe feeling that spark of inspiration. Yeah. And wants to dive into the world of DTF. I would say just go for it. Just go for it. Just go for it. Explore it. Experiment. Experiment. See where it takes you. 
Exactly. That's great advice. Yeah. And hey, if you're looking for a reliable DTF printer, sure, we might be able to help. We might. We offer top of the line DTF printers. Absolutely. With a one year warranty. That's right. And online support. Yep. To make sure you're never left hanging. We got you covered. You can even chat with us on WhatsApp. That's right. At plus 234-812-933-7940. If you have any questions. So there you go. There you have it. If you're interested in getting started, we're here to help. We are. So it's an exciting time. It is. To be part of this DTF revolution. And who knows what incredible creations mm -hmm. we'll see in the years to come. It's going to be amazing. Can't wait to see what people come up with. Me too. This technology is just so it's so versatile. Versatile. Yeah. And the possibilities are really endless. Endless. It's very exciting. So I think we've covered a lot of ground here today. I think so. We've talked about what DTF is, mm -hmm. why it's become so popular. Yeah. How the technology works. The nitty gritty. The nitty gritty. Yeah. And where it's headed in the future. The future of DTF. Yeah. I think it's safe to say mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that DTF is not just a fad. No. It's here to stay. Yes. It's a revolution. It's a revolution. Yeah. So if you're feeling inspired, mm -hmm. dive in. Yeah. Explore it. Go for it. Experiment. Yeah. And see where it takes you. See where it takes you. Because who knows? Mm -hmm. You might just create the next thing you never know and we'll be here we'll be here to see it to see it so that's it that's it for this deep dive into the world of dtf printing thanks for joining us thanks for listening it's been a pleasure and we'll see you next time see you next time